Most people are atrociously bad listeners. And if you want to stand out, have better relationships, form deeper connections, it's not that difficult. All you have to do is be a somewhat good listener and you will stand out massively. The first thing is to recognize that it's a skill. So if you're a bad listener now, that's fine. You can become a good one. To do that, you have to recognize that there's a difference between pretending to be a good listener and actually being a good listener. We can all feel the difference. Anyone can pretend when there's someone they want to build a relationship with. But if you want to be one, you have to slow down internally enough to calm down so that your mind's not racing. Because if it is, you're only going to be able to listen to reply instead of listening to understand and feel. So if you take up a meditation practice, which most people don't do because they say, oh, I can't stop my racing mind, that's fine because you only have to listen to your racing mind. When you listen to yourself, you create enough space to hold space for others and listen to them. And then from there, you can start to addict yourself to curiosity by realizing that there's entire worlds within other people that they will only share when they know that someone's really listening. Actually listening will change what people will tell you. They'll tell you things they would never otherwise tell you in ways that they would never otherwise tell you if they sense you're really listening, especially without judgment. And if you're totally paying attention, then there's no room for judgment. So the first step is to slow down and to have a practice to slow down. From there, you want to set the intention when you're going into conversations to actually listen. And then the third skill is listen to understand and feel. Don't just understand logically, but feel instead of listening to reply. And you might go, oh, what if I don't know what to say when they finish talking because I wasn't listening to reply? You'll figure it out. Whatever you reply with will be more natural and spontaneous and indicate that you were actually listening than something that you preloaded halfway through what they were saying but didn't actually account for the tail end of it. So just develop that trust by actually listening and practicing being in the moment. Treat it like a skill. Slow down. Set the intention. Listen to understand and feel instead of to reply. And watch what a difference it makes. If you have any thoughts or experiences or questions, please share them in the comments. Have a great day.